All right, thanks, Sam. Well, an important part of health that you might not think about every day is your digestive health. Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Neil Parikh, a gastroenterologist with Hartford HealthCare Digestive Health Center. Doctor, welcome. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for having me on today. Thanks for being here. So how common is colorectal cancer? So the colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer death in the United States, and the third most common cause worldwide. Um, every year, 140,000 people get diagnosed with colon cancer in the United States, and unfortunately, 50,000 people die from it. Wow, those are some staggering numbers. All right, tell us about the new recommendations for screening for colon cancer. Yeah, so 45 is the new age. It's no longer 50. Um, the real impetus for this change was a rising incidence of colon cancer in younger adults. Uh, according to the American Cancer Society, a millennial today has doubled the risk of colon cancer compared to someone in their born in the 1950s. And this risk actually quadruples or four times as high when you look at rectal cancer alone. That's why earlier screening lets us find this cancer sooner and when colon cancer is found in its early stages, there's actually a 90% five-year survival rate. All right, yes, catch it early. What are some of the signs and symptoms of colon cancer? Yeah, so common signs and symptoms are, you know, abdominal pain, change in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, or fatigue. Now, of course, these are very nonspecific, and many of us have experienced these in our lifetime, but if they persist, you should talk to your medical provider. Uh, unfortunately for many patients, they have no signs whatsoever, uh, which is why screening is so critical, because screening lets us find cancer in those patients with no symptoms. Wow, okay, that is a good argument for screening, definitely. All right, talk about the treatments available for colorectal cancer. So treatment really depends on um, when it's found and what stage it's in. So it's a case-by-case -case, um, scenario, but treatment may include something uh, as surgery, chemotherapy, um, radiation therapy, and in some cases, if the colon cancer is found located or localized just in the colon, you can be removed during the colonoscopy itself. All right, Dr. Neil Parikh, tell us about you're holding a free webinar, we understand. Yeah, so Hartford Healthcare's uh, Digestive Health Center will be hold, hosting a free webinar next Thursday, uh, where I'll be talking about all these topics in uh, much more detail and there'll actually be a live question and answer session to follow. Uh, so please go ahead and register if you're interested in learning more about this. All right, Hartford HealthCare Digestive Health Center for that webinar. You can find it right there, and we'll also have it on WTNH.com in the News 8 app. Doctor, thank you so much for your updated information. We appreciate knowing the very latest on the guidelines. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right.